Hi everyone, this is Jace at Life LA Trailers again, and today we're going to go over this Charles West Classic 3 horse living quarters with a 12 by 12 floor plan. Um, just going to walk around it today. Uh, starting here at the front, you have two 5 gallon propane tanks. This will power your furnace and the fridge. You got a 7K hydraulic jack, it makes it super easy to unhook and hook up the trailer it's really fast and pain free without having to crank it up. You got a battery box. Right now it's just got the breakaway battery on it. You can order these trailers with two six volts in the trailer. But right now you can either do two six volts, two twelve volts, just however you want to power the trailer. Spare tire mounted up here. It's coming around to the side here. This trailer with the 12x12 12 12 floor plan, it comes with the side tack. Um, the side tack has a swing out blanket rack. It's got a six place, you can put you can put more than one blanket on each rack, but six place swing out rack, three place swing out saddle rack. And then in here, this trailer has a convenience package, so that's why it came with the spare tire. Comes with this 28 gallon water tank. This tank, you can fill up. Super easy to fill. You clip this with a hose. You just screw it in right here. There's a ball valve. Hook up a normal garden hose. Turn it on. You can walk away. It's got this overfill tube where if you walk away, you forget you're filling it. The water will just drain out of the floor of the trailer. And then turn it off. You're all good. Full of water. Taking a long haul. You can stop somewhere on the side of the road. Have your five gallon water buckets. Just Fill up, the, fill up the buckets with that water tank. You're good to go. Door-mounted organizer. That's included with the convenience package as well. As long as you got three exterior load lights, you got one on the passenger side, one over the rear doors, and one on the driver's side. This trailer is equipped with two 7,000-pound torsion axles. Um, torsions make the ride a lot smoother, which you want to make the smoothest ride possible for your horses. So, Charles West. Goes above and beyond, puts torsion axles on it, and creates a smooth ride for your horses pretty much. One thing that I like that Charles West does is these tie rings. Most tie rings are just riveted or screwed into the side of the trailer. Charles West puts them through the skin, tacks them onto the frame so they're welded to the frame. So if your horse ever rears up or anything, you never have to worry about this breaking. They have to pretty much pull the whole trailer over without this breaking. But you're gonna break the you're gonna break the horse's halter, but that's a lot easier to replace that than this. Coming around back to this horse trailer, like I said before, this is a three horse horse trailer. So you got your first horse stall all up front here. You got an escape door in this horse stall. Um, these are divided by these horse dividers with these pads on them. They're the slam match dividers, so they're super easy to use. You pretty much just gotta shut them. They slam shut, pretty solid. They don't rattle or anything. All you gotta do is just twist. They open. You got tail side sliding windows, so if it's a hot summer day, you can open those. And then you got head side drop down feed windows and sliding windows. Once we get around there, I'll show you how the drop down feed windows work. But super hot day, you can vent out this trailer, keep your horses nice and cool. This trailer has the hoof grip flooring. Most trailers come with the rubber floor. But Charles West, they do the hoof grip. What's nice about the hoof grip, if you're on a long haul, usually you have to put down shavings when your horse pees, and then you gotta clean out the shavings. This floor prevents where you don't have to go and get shavings. When a horse pees, it drains to the bottom of the floor. You don't have to worry about you know cleaning it out. The only thing you have to worry about cleaning out is horse manure. Um, cleaning the Cleaning this back end out super easy with this hook grip too. When you spray it out, the water does the same thing, just drains to the floor. Don't ever have to worry about water puddling up or anything. Uh, pretty much creates it a super easy job to clean out the back of this trailer. No hassle. It takes like 10 minutes to do. Uh, underneath the hook grip, there's 2x10 Douglas fir boards. They're treated so they don't rot or anything. This trailer has an 8 year floor warranty, so it's covered for 8 years. Um, three year bumper bumper, five year structure. So this trailer has mangers. Um, so with the mangers, you also get 
pretty much feed trays for your horses. So on a long haul, once again, you can just put hay in here, drain. Sometimes if you're too lazy when you get home, it's a long day. You get home at midnight, you have to worry about grading your horses. You can do that on the road. So once you get home, all you can do is just kick them out of the pasture, you're done. Over each horse stall, you got the pop-up roof vents. They, bowl, they go both where they can let air out, or you can, on a hot day, you can scoop air in. Um, you also got three LED lights in each horse stall. Over here on the driver's side of the trailer is where you got all your storage. Um, this right here is the broom closet. You can store a broom, pooper scooper, anything that you need to keep the back end clean. Um, you can also put buckets, grain, whatever you can think of in this compartment. This trailer has mangers as well. Just some more extra space to store stuff. Grain, grain supplement, extension cords, anything you need for, you know, if you have a week-long rodeo or you're out up in the mountains for a while, just lots of storage on this trailer. You also have the drop-down feed windows which these are super easy to do. All you gotta do is just pull on that handle, it drops down, pops in. If you ever need to throw hay in there, lift this thing, this door up, this rail comes out, you can easily throw hay in there. Horses are easily fed. And then to shut it, just bring it up, slam shut. Right here is the escape door. Nice thing about the escape door, is if you're out of storage you're only hauling two horses you got a solid stud divider on this front horse compartment so you can throw hay or just anything you need up here another thing that's nice about this if you're at a muddy rodeo or just camping and it's muddy you can use this as a back door to kick off your muddy boots to get into your living quarters through this pass-through door this chair is equipped with a slide out in the living quarters um got a nice rain gutter over it so it's raining or anything, keeps the water out, keeps everything dry and clean. So this trailer is equipped with a 48 gallon fresh water tank. It also has a 28 gallon black tank and a 28 gallon gray tank. Right here is where you'll unload those tanks. You've got a gray handle here for your gray tank and a black handle for your black tank. You just pull on those and then you're good to empty them. So this trailer has a 30 amp motor based plug. Um, Basically, it will power the whole trailer, air conditioner, microwave, all the fixings. Um, this is where you fill up uh, your fresh water gallon tank. You got a 48 fresh gallon water tank. You can do just fill it up right here. If you can't find a city hookup, this unscrews. Fill up there with a the garden hose. Or if you got a city water hookup, you just tap it right here, and then you got water all the time. And then this is just keyed, and it shuts. So this trailer has the added option, the blackout package. So as you can see, roof rolls blacked out, uh, trims all blacked out, just looks pretty cool. Um, outside here, the living quarters, you got two exterior speakers. So you got a kicker sound system in this trailer. And then you got a power awning. This awning's powered, makes it super easy to roll up, kick out, no like straps you have to pull or anything, just a push of a button. And then we can walk on inside the living quarters. So like I said, this trailer is equipped with a powered awning. All you gotta do is just push this button right here, retract it. it. Takes a little bit to roll in, but it's super easy. You just sit here, rolls in. Then it locks in by itself, you're done. So right here, this trailer has pretty much a main control board. Uh, this right here is where you pop the awning in and out. Same thing with the slide out, switch right next to it. Turn on your water heater there, water pump. This right here will show your fill levels on your propane, your batteries, your fresh tank, black and gray. Um, just tells you what your levels are and it's pretty nice. Here inside the living quarters, so like I said, this is the 12 by 12 uh, living quarters plan. Interior is done by Charles West. They do a phenomenal job doing it. Starting up here in the gooseneck, you got a California king size mattress up there. 
You got overhead cabinets, two reading lights. You got also two speakers up there. You got a TV right here. It's on a swivel arm, so you can point it towards the bed when you're in bed, ready to go to bed. Um, this also swivels around, so if you got company out here, you can swivel it around. You can watch TV while you're eating breakfast or lunch or dinner. This trailer has a stereo in it. So like I said, this has a kicker sound system. So you got two speakers there, two speakers here, and two speakers on the outside. You can switch it from if you want it just to play both inside and outside or just inside or just outside. You got your eight cubic foot fridge right here with a freezer on it. It can be powered both with propane or electricity. Propane usually works better for these. So this trailer is equipped with a 20,000 BTU furnace and a 13,500 BTU air conditioner with the heat strip. So whether it's hot or cold, you definitely can get comfortable in here. You got a thermostat just right here on the wall. You can control the temperature in here and keep it comfortable in here. Another thing that's super nice about this trailer is if it's a nice day outside, you want to keep the door open, have some daylight, but you want to let bugs in. They have a nice rollaway door screen, so you just pull on it, magnetize it shut, open, reels itself back in. Super nice. So this living quarters comes with a kitchen setup. You got a two-place burner stove top right here. You can also fold the hatch, the lid down. Then you got counter space. You also have extra counter space right here. You got this fold-out shelf that comes out, creates a nice, you know, big enough countertop. Then it just got two handles underneath it. You push up, releases it, you drop it down. You got a microwave in here, plenty of storage. Over here on the side out, you got a dinette set up. Um, this dinette also folds down to a bed. You just got these two posts. This table lifts off the post, pull out the post. The table slides in, these channels right here. These cushions fold down, come apart, lay on the countertop, then this turns into a bed. Over here, um, you got closet space, some more closet space. You can use it for food storage, anything you think of. Pretty big cabinet, so you can fit a lot of stuff in there. You got this slide door between your bathroom and your living area. Just pulls pulls over, push it up, this pins down, it's locked. And then just open super easy. It's got this clip right here, clip it open. Come here in the bathroom, you got a shower. It's pretty nice, pretty roomy. You got your toilet right here, you got your bathroom sink, vanity with a mirror, and then a place to put all your toiletries. This also has a roof vent with a fan in there. So when you're showering, it's hot and steamy. You can crank that vent up and turn the fan on, let all the steam out so it doesn't get all steamy and muggy in here. Also what's nice is when you walk through here, you got your pass-through door right here, and you can use this as a back door if it's muddy or anything. Keep all the mud out and keep your living quarters nice and clean. So as you can see, this trailer is pretty well set up. Feel free to come by and talk to one of us sales guys here at Life Elevated Trailers. We're located at 600 North Main Street in Springville, Utah. Um, this trailer is going for $50,499. Um, so yeah, feel free to come look at it. Check her out.